rugged, durable, powerful. Hi, this is Warner Crocker, GottaBeMobile.com, coming to you with another GottaBeMobile.com Ink Show. And our Ink Shows are sponsored by the good folks at Mobile Demand. They make rugged tablet PCs and rugged devices. And if you're in the market for something rugged, you might want to check them out at uh, MobileDemand.com. Anyway, what we're going to talk about in today's Ink Show is a touch on the X200 tablet PC here. Um, Lenovo's just released a couple of uh, touch-enabled tablet PCs, both running Windows 7. Actually, they haven't released them. They've sent out review units for us to talk about uh, because we all know that the official rollout for Windows 7 isn't until October 22nd. But this is to get the pump prime, so to speak, um, and to let folks like me show you a little bit about how touch is going to work. Now, I want to clear up a couple of things right off the bat because there's been some confusion. Um, there are two tablet PCs, uh, two excuse me, two notebooks that Lenovo has released. One is a tablet PC, that's the X200T that I've got right here, and it has two finger touch, and it has a dual digitizer for the stylus and also for touch, okay? And that digitizer is manufactured by Wacom, or Wacom, W-A-C-O-M, however you want to pronounce that. Now, you've also seen the S400, which isn't a tablet PC, and it has four finger touch. And that digitizer has an Intrig, it's manufactured by Intrig rather. So we've had some confusion back and forth. We've got some confusing information from Lenovo. Uh, I'm not so sure we've been that clear about getting the information out correctly, but two different machines, two different kinds of touch, two different digitizers. And again, the X200T tablet PC has a Wacom digitizer. It's a dual digitizer for touch and for the pen. All right, you know, as a, somebody who's been using tablet PCs for, for quite some while, time, and if you've been one of those folks too, you'll know that one of the great joys of using a tablet PC is not only writing to take notes, but also using the stylus to scroll back and forth on a web page or a long document. And, you know, it gives you some, some great mobility. Now, I have not been a big fan of touch on a convertible device. You know, if I'm going to take this out of slate mode for just a second and flip it around okay you know I, I'm not gonna touch this way I mean I'm gonna use my hands on the keyboard use the track stick here if I need to manipulate something and you know if I, I'm one of those mouse folks I'll have a mouse over here to deal with that but this this just seems like an unnatural um, action to me that said turn this around in slate mode and touch plays a whole different aspect into how I use the device. Now in just a minute I'm going to flip the camera around and get you right on top of this so you can see how my fingers interact with this with touch. But suffice it to say, we've got this big red dot up here on the top. I hit that and that brings up the touch interface. And you can see here we've got these big icons that we can move around, do all kinds of things with. Uh, I can hit that one that I put there to open up Firefox. Um, and then once that pulls in a web page there, I'm going to go to our favorite website. Anybody have a take a guess what that might be? Um, Got to be mobile. And as you can see, I can scroll up and down with just my finger. Okay, or I can go side to side. Okay, again, we can't do any pinching and zooming here. That's not the kind of digitizer and that's not what we have here. This does not come with Microsoft's touch pack. Okay, um, it comes with what's called Simple Tap from Lenovo. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around, put it right on top of the screen here so you can see my fingers manipulate uh, some of the various things about touch here on the X200 tablet PC. We'll be right back. Okay, hi, we're back, and as you can see, I've got the tablet PC here in slate mode on the X200. You can see this big red dot right up here. Uh, if I do that, that's basically going to bring up the touch interface. Simple tap is what they call it. And I haven't turned this feature off here because I just want to show it to you. You have two ways of using touch. You can use the edge launch point, which is that big red dot there. Or you can use the touch screen gesture. And as you can see from this picture here, that's two fingers on the screen. Now I've got both enabled here. And here you can see one of the things that I think Lenovo has done really, really well with Simple Tap 
and they've taken into account that you're going to be looking at large targets large icons in this case now there's not much you can do here really other than make some adjustments unless you want to install some of your own I see many your own shortcuts here I mean and we can bounce those around all day long or I can put them back in a grid there of course down here you can see some more touch controls there but you know I've got Windows Journal there and it's what's nice about this and I'm trying to get around the camera here to do this my writing won't be that good is I can go from inking to touch really easily here going back and forth using the dual digitizer that works very 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 well okay now as I said let's do the two finger let's see if I can get that there I haven't gotten quite the rhythm with my two finger touch on this yet sometimes it works really really well for me sometimes it does not okay there we go all right and again you can see one of the other aspects of this, this is the volume control Oop, looks like I turned that off there okay I'm muted there's the slider you can see that nice big targets for you to move around with there works out pretty well same thing with screen brightness here nice big targets to move around with and I'm not having too much difficulty let's go to web page here and that's coming up here let's go to GBM I'm not having too much difficulty you can see me scrolling back and forth and again I can give you some of that action there works pretty well using the existing targets, existing icons, what have you, to manipulate with on that at all. However, I will say the calibration on this seems to go back and forth. You got, uh, you can calibrate for the pen, or you can calibrate for touch, and I'll get it calibrated so it feels right to me. Um, turn the machine off, put the machine to sleep, come back in. Calibration goes a little wonky at times, so. There might be still some kinks to work out here as far as that's concerned on this particular interface. So hopefully that will get worked out before these things start shipping on the 22nd. Notice also down here at the bottom of the screen, we've got our wireless config here. We've got this icon that basically brings up the uh, ThinkPad, ThinkVantage accessories here in the Lenovo toolbox. And you'll see, again, we've got large icons large targets for you to work with there. Um, so that's working pretty well. Um, this is going to be really the future of touch, I think. <laughs> large icons on things that we may or we may not want to see large icons on when it comes to eating up screen real estate. But if you're going to be doing a lot of touch, you've got to have easy targets to hit. That's just plain and simple. Okay, so there you have a little bit of that. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera back around here and uh, show you a little bit more just about the Lenovo X200T itself. Be right back. All right, we're back here and I've got the X200T here. I've showed you how the touch interface works a little bit. You know, we haven't done an ink show with a Lenovo tablet in a while. Um, we've done quite a few on them in the past. Lenovo makes excellent tablet PCs. No bones about it. They're... Uh, the class of the crop as far as I'm concerned um, especially the convertible form factor that we have here I mean you've got that excellent Lenovo keyboard for when you really need to do some work the devices are sturdy okay uh, Lenovo has a number of wonderful features on this that I think work really really well we've got you know a power button here and a power button here so when we're around in convertible mode we can control that. We've got icons on the bezel, so when we're <coughs> in slate mode here, we can deal with what we need to. The fingerprint um, panel, I guess, what you want to call it there, fingerprint sensor, is right where you need it to be um, as far as that's concerned. You know, a lot of folks don't like the track stick. I happen to be a big fan of them. I didn't like them initially, but I do since I've been using Lenovo ThinkPads. works very, very, very well. We've got a 
12 inch screen here uh, and this is just a wonderful tablet PC. Let me whip this back around in slate mode if we can here and you know you can see these buttons right down the side here that allow us to control everything from volume uh, to different we can rotate the screen, uh, we can lock the tablet buttons here, uh, we can do everything we need to right here on the bezel. Um, if there's something that we can't do on the bezel, okay, we can bring up the Lenovo toolbox there. See that right there? And that allows us to configure tablet pen settings, brightness, volume, etc., 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 to work with. And again, touch, it's gone. Uh, works out very, very well as far as that's concerned. Um, I'm a big fan of what Lenovo has done here with simple tap, this two finger touch on the X200. I'm a big fan of Lenovo tablet PCs in general. I think you know that if you've been paying any attention to got to be mobile the last couple of years. That said, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not so sure how much this touch is going to be anything more than just an excellent way to navigate when you're in slate mode. Now, is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. Now, I'm a big user of the iPhone here. Uh, you know, and of course, it's all multi-touch, and it's the thing that everybody's gearing towards on a mobile end is, you know, got to be like the iPhone, got to be like the iPhone. They have all these wonderful apps and whatnot. Well, yeah, they do. And yeah, you can play some games with touch, and you can do this with touch, and you can do that with touch. But let's face it. Bottom line, all touch is enabling you to do in a lot of software, whether it's on the iPhone or anything else, you know, is navigate around that software. I mean, you still have to call up a keyboard if you're going to enter in any, any data. Okay, you still have to have some method of input. On a tablet PC, you've got a keyboard, and you've also got the stylus, and that can work very, very well for you. Speaking of, let's see here, let's call up keyboard here and let me show you that Get close here here's the tip okay and you can see that it's translucent if I'm not working on it right away it's gonna fade away just for a little bit there Of course, now it's gonna make a liar of me and not fade away let's go ahead and bring up the keyboard here get that there we go now this works really really well if I'm gonna input some text with touch Okay, so this is going to work very, very well. Now, you know, we used to say all the time that folks weren't too big of a fan of on-screen keyboards. Well, I think that's changing to a certain degree because I think what we're discovering is that our usage patterns are changing. I mean, no one's going to sit here and enter an entire document on one of these keyboards with their fingers. If they are, more power to them. I'm certainly not going to do that. I don't do that on my iPhone, I'm not going to do it here. Well, I sit here and ink a document, very possibly I might ink a long email, but I'm probably going to leave that in ink. I'm not going to use the tip for that. Um, if I want to use handwriting recognition and use the, the tip, tablet input panel, I may in fact um, do some of that, but I find I'll just leave it in ink, or I'll flip it around and I'll use the convertible mode. But what does touch give me? Touch gives me is, hey, wow. There's that email from Xavier. He needs a quick answer. That quick answer is yes. I bring up that keyboard, Y-E-S, boom, email gone. So it does make it easier on that, in that aspect. But again, you're not going to, I don't think we're going to see lots and lots of software outside of entertainment and navigation that uses touch on any of these devices. The Lenovo is an excellent consumer machine, but it's targeted for business. And so what we're looking at here, I think when we bring up, you know, these tab these touch functions, I mean, we can put anything on here we want. We can, you know, I put Journal and uh, Firefox on here. I can create icons for anything I want here to bring them up. And sure, I'm sure there are going to be some games down the line that will take advantage of touch. Maybe they're in the touch pack. I haven't used that at all um, because I haven't had access to it. But we're going to find mostly navigation, controls, brightness, volume, this kind of thing that we can access 
using our fingers when we're in this mode. And this is a joy to use. Sitting back the way I've always enjoyed browsing the internet using a stylus, I can now use my finger. And that's something that's really wonderful. So, there you have it. A little bit about touch on the X200 tablet PC. This is Warner Crocker from GottaBeMobile.com saying, hey, thanks for tuning into this ink show. We hope you'll tune in to some of the others. And once again, we'd like to thank the good folks at Mobile Demand for sponsoring all of our ink shows. And we'll catch you on the next ink show. Take care.